on the win, a huge three points. But bearing in mind what happened at the weekend, bearing in mind you've got the Champions League final and everything that's happening in terms of the fight for the top four, did that feel like more than three points? Felt like a huge effort and felt like a top performance. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It's a it's a big step, but it's only a step. It's not done yet. We have to push it over the line on Sunday. Um, so it's a huge team effort. Like I said, it was uh, full of intensity, full of hunger and ambition, and we played over many many minutes with a lot of quality for, in my opinion, well deserved win. Um, but it's not the time for celebrations. Not the time for for praise. It's not the time for philosophy. If it's more than three points, it's actually three points, and. Uh, there's another one to catch on Sunday and we have to be prepared and, and aware uh, to, to finish the job. John Boss. Uh, hello, Thomas. It was a brilliant performance tonight, full of energy and intensity. How much of that energy came from, from the fans and how special was it to have them in to see that, was, that tonight? This is a completely different match. Uh, football with spectators and without spectators. You can simply not compare. This was amazing and uh, I just said it out to your colleagues. It's, it's exactly what, what, what we want. We want to be everybody happy who comes to the stadium and feels this energy from this team because this is what this team can always deliver. And I strongly believe that as a, as a supporter of any club, you come for energy to the stadium. You don't come only for fancy moves and goals and, and whatever. and and, and um, and uh, outstanding individual performances. You come to feel the energy and, and it has to be easy to support us. It, we need to bring the, the spectators on the front foot and, and we need to excite them and they feel this. And I think with this, te this team is doing this. They, 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 they have the hunger, the ambition and they, they leave out everything. Sometimes we, we struggle with decisions and sometimes we, we don't reward ourselves, but, but this team is always on the edge of, uh, in terms of, of work rate and, and what they give. And, and this is very important and that makes, I think, the spectators happy. And for this, they push us and this was a huge, huge boost today. Nick Hi, Thomas. Um, isn't Golo Kante injured or was he tight? And uh, could you just sum up um, hope, Tony Rudiger's performance for tonight as well? I hope, I hope. I hope that N'Golo is not injured. He told me when I understood him right in French, I told, he told me that he went out before an injury. He felt his hamstrings. He was worried that he got uh, that he gets injured if he continues to play. So we put Kova in, which was also a huge risk because Kova was more or less on the bench for 20 minutes. We put him for 60. So uh, we took some risks, but it was the moment to take risks. It's, uh, it was, um, uh, game of highest importance at the end of the season um, and I'm happy that it worked out. Hopefully Angie will come back. We are a different team with Angie and without Angie, but uh, we compensate very, very good today. Um, for Tony, I'm absolutely happy that he, he scored for us. He was again very, very good, very reliable, but uh, I feel a bit uncomfortable today to, to give praise to single players and, and uh, talk about single players because now it's really, really, really to stay strong as a group and to, to, to bring it together as a group. And uh, we, we absolutely need to, to refocus on, on Sunday. There's not the time for celebration. Hi, Thomas. Um, I really enjoyed your performance tonight, but I also really enjoyed the fight near the end. Um, the way Aspi, Thiago Silva and Mason Mount went over to Daniel Amati suggested maybe there was a bit of extra motivation for him with the pennant. Was, was that the case? I did not talk about it. I, I, I know that there was a, a incident. Um, I did not talk about it in the in, in, before the match or in any meetings. I don't do this, uh, but I think the players were well aware. But, you know, I, I'm not in, into these things too much because it can sometimes uh, give you a uh, bit of a too much energy or too much of a feeling from revenge. I don't like this at all. We prepared a super important match and, and we did what we do what we do and how we play football and we wanted to do it on the highest level possible and this was a and that's this is what we did and, and we need our intensity and hunger uh, and energy all the time that makes us that makes us a, a difficult team to play and uh, nothing more i can say about it last question adam newson 
Hi, Thomas. It was a, an interesting first half for, for you again with VAR. Um, how are you feeling with the decisions at the moment that are, that are going for your team? Well, you can maybe imagine that we don't. We are frustrated with the decisions. Uh, for me, we 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 uh, Arsenal denied a clear goal with a hand uh, two meters or three meters in front of the line it was a handball instead of a goal. <laughs> the R is not checking. Then we lose a, a, a final in, in Wembley because of a handball from Leicester in the in the in the build up to a to a to a goal. So we are asked as this is the goal, and uh, and today we have a clear penalty, and this is suddenly a, a foul for against Timo Werner. Uh, it's a bit hard to overcome uh, in every match these kind of decisions, and then we have another handball and another offside or whatever it was. But with handball and with offside is hopefully hopefully not no discussions. Today there was an offside goal in, in Man United, it didn't, didn't get uh, overruled by VAR, so anything can happen. I'm totally. Uh, for VAR, and absolutely for VAR to have to have clear decisions when 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 they are needed. But uh, in the moment, these last three decisions are, are crucial decisions against us, which are very very hard to understand. Well,